So I've gotten a lot of questions about how I run my MIDI keyboard in the machine. And I think people get confused because Machine Micro doesn't have any MIDI ports, but that's not really a problem. You can just run it with USB. So um, just take a USB cable and run it from the back of the keyboard into your laptop or desktop or whatever you're running. Uh, if you start running out of USB ports, you can just grab a cheap USB hub and then you have plenty to work with. Um, once you have it all connected with USB, you have to go into the machine software and um, start getting some of the settings right. So the first thing you want to do is head up to File, and then click Audio and MIDI Settings, and then you're going to head over to the MIDI tab, and here you'll be able to see all the different MIDI devices, and obviously you want to turn all of them on. So um, once you have that set, make sure all of them are on. Um, you can click the OK button, and then you are set to go. And once you have that set up, um, there's a couple different ways you can make the most of your keyboard running in machine. So one of the first things I figured out how to do was play a sound even though the machine micro is playing a different group. So uh, I'm just going to load up a quick sound here. And then go ahead and right click on the sound. Then choose um, sound MIDI settings. And here you can see um, some options. Click enable. And I always just go on channel 1 because that's what I work with. You can obviously change that and um, click OK. And now what you'll be able to do is play that sound even if the machine is controlling a different group. Um, and when you're done with that, I always click disable so I don't get confused or anything. And another thing you can do with the MIDI keyboard is play a full group. Um, so I'm just going to load up a quick group here. And then go up to the group and right click on that and then select sound MIDI batch setup. And the one I always use is sounds to MIDI notes. Um, again, make sure your channel matches what you're running with your controller, and then you can choose the root note, um, and then click apply. And so what this is going to do is assign each sound to a different MIDI note. So those are a couple different ways to um, connect your MIDI keyboard and make the most of it in the machine. Um, hope this answers some questions, and um, stay tuned for more music. Thanks!